Come here. Get him in. Yes! Let's go. I still got we it. just had to talk about it. Dude, oh that was gosh. so sick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to the channel. Sad state of affairs right now. Sad state of affairs, okay? Turn the old wagon off here. I've kind of forgotten how to fish. <laughs> I've gotten what some people call buck fever, an extreme case of it. Some of you may know what this is about. And uh, usually I get it a little bit every year. This year it's been real bad. What do you do? When you get in a slump like this, you know, I've kind of, I've lost my edge, I've lost my touch. Uh, wh where's the closest Guggen that I can go to that is deeply knowledgeable about bass fishing, has a pure passion, and is willing to, you know, just just be a leaning shoulder? Well, it's it's John B. What's going on, Dan? It's John B. I've recently just discovered, we're a few farms away from each I know, other. it's not that far, is it? You just move, you know, John's like, you know what, dude? I realize you're in a little situation Gotta right get now. you back on the wagon. Just, just come with me. Yep. I literally have none of my gear with me. Um, we're just going to bounce things off each other. I'm going to get inspiration from John B. today. I don't even know if we fished together. No, it's been a minute. I think the last time we fished together was like PK. Yes, spring. that was it. And yeah. we do a lot for a Guggen Squad channel, but me yeah. and you is like on our own channel. actually taking a lake seriously and not yeah. like... Uh, fishing at 12 and then beer at 3 p.m. Today right. we're actually gonna try to maybe catch some fish. It is probably the worst day to go. Uh, it's it's got yeah, to be 27 it's, something last night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, out here at least. 32 so. right now at least. Do you feel like Batman with this new cave here? Yeah. Because this is I just need an awesome. Yeah, like it's a little dusty right now, but it's got mad potential. Absolutely. <laughs> Got the new pole sitting right there. Oh, I like this setup, guys. This is what I would like one day. I know you were talking about this when you were looking for a home. You're like, I just want a barn yeah. to put all of my, all my gear. Junk. All my gear. You know what's funny is when I got this place, I never even measured the doors to see if my boat could fit in here. So when I first came, I was like, I was kind of looking at my boat and I was looking at the door and I'm like, this works, it works obviously. But. Did you get some inspiration when you first saw this, this barn where you like, yeah, I could see my whole tackle existence being I can just see myself living here in the springtime. Like come, as soon as like February 28th hits, it's like, what, yeah. what's that? That's not even yeah. like, <laughs> like I, yeah. Grab the coffee, grab a brew, get in the boat and just do tackle prep. It's already got a fridge. It's already oh, a fridge. Yeah. All it needs is a cure egg or something like that, a little cot. I'm loving it. I'm already inspired. This is a lake that uh, I've only been to one time. It was not good. It was it was pretty tough. We have such a cold morning that our saving grace, I think, is going to be this clear water where the fish can see, come up and grab a bait from a long ways. If it's really cold and you want to get after fishing, Clear water definitely helps. Don't even waste your time after a, a rain if you got mud and it's not sunny and warm the next day or next few days. It's going to be a, a rough go. We got clear water. Fish can see from ways away. Little contact there. Let's head on. Hey, shout out to our friends at Mercury Motors. Powering the Guggen squad through the good and tough times, y'all. Um, my first year, first full year, almost a full year now, running the Pro XS, and it's a bad mother trucker. And John's got the same motor, just in a 200. It is a beastly sounding son of a gun. They're badass, but they're also a good sponsor of ours, so just want to give them a quick shout out before we get our first snatch. That's cool. Four feet of water right here. With the grass. Kind of feeling like a red lipless crank needs to come out. Yeah. Here we go. I'm using all of John's gear today. It feels me a quantum. No, I do. I just give you the quantum. <laughs> Appreciate that, bud. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll make it work. Your fingertips are a little frosty. Nose is a little tingly. Lips are chapped. There's only one way to cure that, and that's taking a big old bass, putting it up to your face, and wiping it all over everything. We're gonna back her down a little bit, see what she'll do. Oh, wow, well that sent it there. 
you got on that magnet drag. Come on, baby. Got to get my groove back. I just need, I need one solid fish to fill, fill something in my fishing veins again. Got too many antlers in my dreams. Yeah, look at that. Got him? There we go. Little, 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 little. Oh my, micro. That's a bass though. It is a bass, I think. I told you we'd get on him, man. You just gotta, you, you, gotta told fish me. In, you gotta fish with sloth boy in the lund. That's why I called you. Yeah. This is, what, this is exactly why Rack is fishing with me right now. I just want to connect on a good 14 and a quarter. Just. <laughs> 14 and a quarter. You <laughs> don't. Big just a solid connect. <laughs> yeah. 14 and a quarter. I mean, you know. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Got him. Yeah, baby. Mondo. Mondo. Heads up. Heads up. Oh, he's digging right at the end, actually. Crazy how hard they fight. Wow. So cold A little bigger. Ate it head first on the clutch. That guy is a fat, fat chunk. Healthy fish. Whoa, a little bloody. Let this guy back in the water. Just a little sniff, just a little sniff. See my guy, he's good. Healthy, good. So two little guys on this grass flat. Start. It's, it's a challenge. start. And we know they're willing to bite. We need to get back on the deep woods. That's my problem, I'm thinking about deer hunting too much. It's every, every second I make a deer reference, you know? I wake up, I check my trail cameras when I'm Drink my coffee. Oh, nice. We're in five feet right now. Okay, a little shower. Yeah, I feel like this these two things are those most efficient. I mean a jerk bait and a jig is pretty much always how I've caught my biggest bass in the early spring winter. That looks like a spawn hole. Yeah, do you see it on March. the map? It's like a little pond almost. Oh god, man, you, your boxes are huge. Yeah. Not a normal tree. <laughs> Mesquite tree, maybe. Yeah. That's wicked, though. Two fish off the end of it. Yeah. Dude, they are suspended on these trees, man. We should get on the. Oh, there we go. Oh, Got yeah. him. Loaded up. Oh, dude, no, he come off. No, no, no. Look decent. I know. Loaded up nicely on it. Dang. That was yeah. That was a better one. I'm gonna say like a two and a half, three. Update right now, y'all. It's all about the moving baits. Uh, jerk bait is winning. So John's been throwing uh, the scout. I'm throwing the, the half ounce clutch. Um, I've had two bites. The second fish I had on felt really good. It just pulled off. The jerk bait, I would have to say, definitely one of my top winner baits. I like a jerk bait and a jig and a lipless crank bait, but. Jerk bait, especially when you get a bad cold front, gives a fish just a few extra seconds, you know, to, to come up there and grab it. And especially when we have timber, you can almost target cast like you would a jig, like throw the jerk bait up, give it some twitches where it's just hanging there next to the tree uh, or a good grass clump, any kind of cover. And it just lets those fish go, oh, a mm, little, little more slow down. Let me just swim over here and grab, oh, it moved again. Oh, I'm just come up there. Oh, boom. Uh, the water is 52, I believe, and there's some good looking stuff, so I need to put the camera down and, and get to twerking again. But uh, that's the program right now. We got four fish, and jerkbait seems to be the best thing so far. There's one. Yep. Yep. There he is. 
off, off the bank. Off the bank. What are we, what are we dealing with? I don't know. He's in the tree, though. A little something? Oh, he's in the tree. Oh. Well, Crappie? Yeah. No. No. Nope. He's a little large. Yes. Dude, I'll take it. <laughs> Another jerky. Another jerk bait fish. Give me my groove. Dude, I just, I, I lost it, man. No, nah, you didn't. I don't have it. I, I don't have the touch. You still got it. Everyone. I gotta find once it. Once you have the touch, you have, once you have acquired the touch, you have it, you just gotta <laughs> find it again within, within you, you know? You gotta just search somewhere, it out. It's somewhere in there. <laughs> you just gotta find it. <laughs> if it's a two and a half, it might just happen anyway. <laughs> oh my God. I just got pumped and dumped. Biggin. Right, yes. I'm oh. talking, I'm talking. That's a clear water looking bass. Yeah. So. Check out the pad. Oh, wow. Look at those lips, too. Do you just have the mojo? Is that it? You know I what? feel like that's kind of it. I got to level like, with, I level with you. He's got a winter mojo going on. I got to level with you. Right you know when we you went You are to, on a streak right now. You know when we went to PK and you took me in your boat? Yeah. I stole a little bit of it. You, yeah, did I did it? Did, did it happen? Did the transfer little. happened? I did. There was like there was a point where we like kind of we like bumped into each other <laughs> and I like went like this and I was like, I just felt it. I just felt like the need to sniff a fish and it was like weird. <laughs> but I didn't want to say anything because I don't want you to take it back. But well, you kind of you just clapped off after that after that point. <laughs> if I could give it to anybody, um, I haven't given you anything. Well, but... I think maybe you took maybe you took like Terry. Oh, 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 he grabbed it. Ah! Oh, so sick. No way. Holy yeah. I still got it, John. You still got it, baby. Oh, you barely got him. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Get him in. Yes. Let's go. Oh, I still got we it. We just had to talk about it. Dude, oh my that was gosh. So sick. Holy, this is awesome. Have you seen anything like that? Oh, not with no. a not with a jerk bait no. in the winter. I've never seen a bass. That one's fat too. Yeah, that's a good one. Rush a jerkbait like that what? when it's this cold, and then to be able to plop it back in there and snag him. Yeah. I still got it, baby. He was under the boat, and he went. He yeah. Went, oh, he went under the boat and then turned back around. Hey. See, I told you, man. I told you. It's all up here. That's why I needed to go fishing with you, John. I needed that moment so bad, guys. I know that's. I know that's not a giant, but. That was just, that was a test of angling you know skill that right is? there. That's like a one-handed catch in the end zone like this. Like that just <laughs> never happens. Like that was crazy. That was awesome, man. Oh, we, wow. We know you got to give it to me you. Oh, that smells sweet. Oh my god. That smells sweet. Hook myself in the process. We'll deal with that later. Let you go. Thank you for giving me my mojo back, little fish. One more jump for luck. Yes, sir. That was sick. That was sick. I was burning that thing in to make another cast. It came right under the boat. Dude, you popped and it plopped in so it back quick, in though. and just Yeah. Plopped it in so quick. Yes. Wow. It's time for a lucky sandwich here. We're going with a Al's Conveniencio. I'm, I'm guessing that means convenience food. I think it's a BLT, but there looks like there's some extra business in there. Ooh, it looks bad. like some raw bacon, like some chewy. Yeah, like just like, yeah. Some chewy. Not crispy at all. So, That's scary. Kind of scary. And sprinting the poor body. <laughs> yeah. Might be hanging off the lun. Yeah. <laughs> Need some what? Just need some bread sitting in the, the bottom of oh, the Oh, dude! Oh, oh there. it's almost too loud. Yeah. Guys, I just had another one, the same color that's a little weird. I almost pulled the old rigamaroo on him again. <laughs> he came back. I felt him hit it, and then he just, I don't know, he just he was looking didn't for want it. it. Yeah. Like he was coming for it, but he didn't inhale. Just out there. Yeah. 30 footer. Dude, so much fun. Which we're fishing right now, but the real thing that we're seeing in Ooh, is grass. Right on that you tree, are. dude. Oh, yeah. dude. Oh, oh crappie? Oh, Mongoloid crappie? No, it's no what hybrid. is that? Hybrid. What? Uh, white bass. What? Big white bass. Leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mongoloid. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, is that a, is that a, it's a hybrid, isn't it? It's got broken uh, lines. Is it? It might. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's this little white bass. It looked like the thing we had on our Guggen uh, glass sculpture. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. There we go. 
Hey, here. there is not a lake in the country I cannot find a white bass at. You know what's funny? Is there is no white bass record for this lake. I might have it right here. There literally is not, not one on the uh, website. Okay, well, let's mark it down. What do we got? Where's our Guggen scale? It's uh, in the, uh, I got one hung up right there. You can literally title this video. New lake record. New lake record. Folks, I seek them out. Come on, a three. <laughs> <laughs> Pounds and ounces, new record. There she goes a pound. She's skinny. She is skinny. Looks like we're gonna lock in one, one pound, two ounces. Literally <laughs> like there is the only record there is for this lake is a large mouth, a small mouth, and a carp. Okay. That's weird. <laughs> Setting records out here, folks. Wow, I am. I don't know what it is. They seek me out. Yeah. Uh, I can be in the Great Lakes. I could be in the California Delta. I could be in Florida flipping grass mats, and I'm going to pull up a white bass. Any, anytime we get around a point, it's good, which is typical winter time fishing close to deep water. And most of the day, we have fished towards or close to deep water, and a lot of these fish are just suspended. I will tell you, if you don't have any jerk baits in your arsenal for your winter and early spring, it's a must have. Just because it is such an effective bait when fish are suspended in that water column, and usually in winter and early spring, the water's warming up at the surface, like today we got some sun, and they're just in that first few feet of the water column, and it gives them a chance to come up and grab it. I think John has caught like eight or nine. What do you, how many have you caught? Eight? I'm, you're slaying, dude. I'm linking John's channel down below. And if you guys want to stay tuned for our next video together, we're actually going to be talking about some of our old fishing reels together. I'm starting a new series on this channel, and I want, I want to get you guys' take and opinion, and I can't think of a better person to do the first one with than John, so that's going to be coming up next. Uh, I'll also leave a link down below if you guys want to check out Squad. Com. We've got all of our uh, hard baits, soft baits, and all of our apparel there, but uh, make sure to get you some jerk baits. Oh, there we go. On. On. Ooh. Solid piece. Yeah. Here we go. Got a digger. Oh, that's not bad. About the same. Wow. But no, that's a little bit bigger. Here we go. Jerk bait off this little rock section. Wah bam! <laughs> Barely got the tip. Another skinny one. We've got a lot of bites right here. Right here at this end section. 15 incher. Big mouth, skinny. These need, fish need more forage. Need shad. They need shad. Jerk baits. Jerk baits, jerk baits, jerk baits. Jerk baits. Hashtag jerk baits. Hashtag, Get you some. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag scout. Googleswad.com. Here we go. Yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're on. We're on, boys. We're we're on. Buzzer beater bass right here, y'all. He got that middle hook too, like a champion. Yeah. Thank you. There we go. Beautiful. Got it all. Got it all. That's what I like to see right there. We're sitting in what? 32? 32 feet of water. 32, and then we're throwing up to like five. So if you have the opportunity to fish close to deep water this time of year, it is advantageous just because they have the option to go to that deep water to acclimate themselves if they need to. See ya, buddy! A little perch flavored. Switched it up. Had two on that. Seems like they're connecting with that color a little better. And we're just throwing up there, close, twerking it out, pausing. That's been the program today. So we just loaded it up. Absolutely. Big dogs. Give a shout out for big dogs. Everybody loves big dogs. We're going to take it back to the John B. HQ right now for a little post-game wrap-up. And we'll see you there. 
we're at the side of the future Cher Lunker Pond. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to grow a 13 pounder in here. Dude, how awesome. Lunker factor, yeah. It's literally being dug right now. Folks can keep up with this action over at the uh, the johnb.com link down below. There's the um, inflow. So, he's it kind of comes in. You got one little island right there. Another Heck little yeah. island right there. Gator gar, bluegill, crappie. For when you visit, oh, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, big old just dinner plates. But the water, the when the, before we dug this out, it was really clean. Like it was crystal clear. A little bit of grass. Dude, how cool is it? Just come out here, drink. slap a couple of yeah. slabs, yeah. throw them on the dinner plate, head into the shed, clean them up, and take them in. Dude, it's a dream come true. One thing that I love about the Bar Zucchini Barn. I like that Bar Zucchini Barn. Is it is a pull through barn. A little jealous. John doing karate. Did I get my mojo back today? Step in the right direction. Step in the right direction is well put, John. I had one moment where I was like, yes, I still got it. I still had the, I still had the action, I still had the, um, the muscle memory to catch that bass in the tricky situation. Did I catch a hog and renew my fishing freak spirit? I'm gonna say my, my level charge is still at like 75%. But John got me going in the right direction. I do appreciate it, John. We gave it 110%. Fish base until sunset. We gave it all. A lot of fish. We're about to actually uh, continue the party here and talk about um, old fishing reels. And John's got a bunch of them. I've got a bunch of them. And we're going to do a, a whole video on that. So if you want to stay tuned, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Guys, almost a million subscribers. Get close. Almost a million subscribers. Come on. Tell them. Guys, subscribe. A bit lacking. Just do it. Subscribe right now. Get Rackley to a million, and then maybe that's all you need. Maybe that. Maybe one that's million. it. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's it. And you know yeah. what? The timing is probably really right for early spring yeah. next year when we hit a million. We're just gonna supercharge into the stratosphere. Trust okay. Ten, Feel me. Ten, ten, ten. So like button, comment. I know YouTube's big on the comments right now. Just just say something. Say hey. Uh, you know you suck. I don't care. Whatever. <laughs> just say something to get the comments hey, engaged. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube just needs that right now. I hear. That's what the robots tell me. So anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you learned something, and we will catch you guys on the next one. Actually, John, put that back. Wool socks, Crocs, can't beat it. I, I, it's been a while since I've rocked the Crocs, guys. Uh, years. I gotta say I'm back in the game. Missed it.